Coconut soap has many benefits for both skin and hair. In this video we will show you how to make this soap step by step using the cold process. Coconut soap can also be used in household cleaning and as a natural insecticide. However, the recipe is different. Watch this suggested video to know how to make coconut soap to use against garden and orchard pests. Now let's see how to make coconut soap for the skin. The mandatory safety materials are a long sleeve lab coat, safety goggles, rubber gloves, a mask, and closed footwear. The ingredients for this recipe are cold pressed extra virgin coconut oil, caustic soda, in this case 99% pure sodium hydroxide, distilled water, lavender essential oil and tea tree essential oil. The essential oils are optional. If you have sensitive and reactive skin, you can make this recipe without the essential oils. The utensils needed for this recipe are one stainless steel pan. Do not use aluminum as it reacts with soda. One kitchen scale, a mixing container, one fitting syringe optional for measuring the oil without spilling, one container for water, one container for soda, and one container for the essential oils. These containers can be glass, stainless steel, or plastic. One stainless steel spoon, two pipettes if the essential oil bottles don't have a dropper, two silicone spatulas, one hand blender exclusive for soap making, cling film, two cloths, one digital kitchen thermometer, one tray and one silicone mold. After gathering all the materials, start by weighing out 415 grams of coconut oil. Optionally for this task, a fitting syringe can be used to avoid spilling the oil. Weigh out 146 grams of distilled water, 8 grams of lavender essential oil, and 3 grams of tea tree essential oil. These amounts of essential oil will give the soap a mild aroma and can be used on all skin types. Because of their volatility, you should cover the container of the essential oils with a cloth while awaiting use. Put on the safety material and then weigh out 57 grams of caustic soda. Put the oil on the heat, and while the oil is heating, carefully add the hydroxide over the water. The hydroxide over the water, never the other way around. Dissolve the hydroxide with a stainless steel spoon, never aluminum. Measure the temperature of the oil and the water, and use a cold water bath to keep track of temperatures. This is a time-consuming process but you need to keep an eye on it and measure the temperatures regularly. We have mentioned before that the way to make coconut soap for the skin is different from the way to make coconut soap for cleaning and fighting pests in the garden and orchard. That difference lies in the superfat. The superfat is the extra fat in soap to make it gentle on the skin. Coconut soap for the skin does have superfat in its formula. This means that it is a gentle soap and can be safely used on both skin and hair. Coconut soap for cleaning does not have superfat in its formula. This means that coconut soap for cleaning is aggressive on the skin as it has the ability to remove its natural fat layer. It is however an excellent soap for household cleaning due to its detergency power and ability to remove grease and dirt. Both solutions should be at about 45 degrees Celsius. Both should be at the same temperature or with a maximum difference of 10 degrees. And then add the water solution to the oil. The water over the oil, never the other way around. Mix first with a spatula and then with a hand blender, exclusive for this purpose. After using a hand blender in contact with soda, it cannot be used again in contact with food. 
add the essential oils and mix with a hand blender until the trace is reached. The trace is when the soap reaches the emulsion point, that is, the point at which the water solution and the oil solution mix together and form a viscous batter where you can identify lines when you pass the spatula or blender through. Pour the batter into the mold. And with the help of the tray, shake the mold to remove air bubbles that may be inside the batter. Cover with cling film and a cloth to help maintain the temperature. Isolate for 24 hours undisturbed until it hardens. After 24 hours, unmold. It is advisable to wear gloves to remove from the mold. The tools should also only be washed the next day wearing gloves, as it's still very caustic. This recipe results in about 600 grams of soap. The weight will always vary after the cure. The cure is the time required for soap to lose water and stabilize the pH. In the case of 100% coconut soap for the skin, the curing time is 6 weeks. The bars should be stored in a place without direct sunlight and no moisture. For better guidance, it is very important to make a label with the date the soap was made and the approximate date of the end of the cure. During the six weeks of curing of coconut soap, you should rotate the bars so that they can cure evenly. Cold processed soap is alkaline and the pH varies between 8 and 10. During the curing process, pH strips can be used to know if more time is needed to cure. After the curing time, the soap should be wrapped using natural materials. Paper, cloth, cardboard or cotton bags can be used so that the soap can keep its quality for longer. The first sign that soap is going bad is when dreaded orange spots appear accompanied by rancid odor. If the soap is to be used immediately after curing, it should be placed in soap dishes so that it can drain off the water and last longer. If left in water, the soap will break down more easily. If you like this video, you may also like our post where we have more information about the benefits of coconut soap for skin and hair and many other important tips on how to make and use this soap. Don't forget to share, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos about sustainability, natural products and so much more.